right, here we are. We have 83 Gallup Hill Road here in Ledger, Connecticut. And this home has a partial shared driveway for this initial 100, 100 foot coming in. That goes to 85. And then we are coming to 83 right here. Turn around, property goes to the rear right there. But this is an amazing house, two car, garage under. We've got a living floor area on the first and second floor. The main living space is 2,701 square feet. And up top, bonus in-law space, 718 square feet, gives us a total of 3,419 square feet. These stairs coming up, nice and gentle, coming up to the covered front porch. We have many covered areas. We have many porch area and deck areas. We'll give you a quick walk around, so buckle up. We're gonna go through this house in no time. We've got the rear backyard right there. Nice play area. Great visibility from the interior to the backyard as you're gonna see. Just remember that swing set right there. Here's our entry up to the in-law space up top. So we're gonna go through this structure. The home has a central air system that is up on the third floor for the in-law suite. Three sport hot water for the rest of the home. This wraparound porch, just remember those two chairs right there when we get to the dining area. Or let's jump right on into this home, see what it has to offer. First thing we're gonna notice, nine foot ceilings. You can tell because of the six foot eight door in the space above it, nine foot. How is this space right here? This could be an amazing office. Right now, the seller uses it as obviously the playroom for the children, but it brings the uh, outside in this large picture window right here, west facing early afternoon. When we come into the center, we've got a coat closet right here. Left rear of the home, we've got this large family area right here. This steps out to that little deck that we had, the step wooden step coming down. We've got the playscape right there that I talked about. So this is our main family area right here. Those rear steps are just right back here. And don't forget, we can come back up right here from the garage. So guests, friends, and family can come right back up the masonry steps in-laws can go all the way up. The Daris boiler vent right there. The home has five bedrooms, four full baths. First bathroom is to my left right here. Tile floor. You've got the neo-angle shower right there. Composite one-piece top right there. We'll do the basement last at this area. Plenty of storage. Now these cabinets are eight feet tall. So the scale is really hard to capture here in the video. And this island is awesome. How's this for a kitchen? Quartz countertops, plenty of stools. You got the eat-in breakfast area right here. Morning sun coming from the east right there. I love the evergreens, the evergreens block all year long, the home that's down gradient from this home. We've got a huge dining room. So right here, how's this for a dining room? You can just stretch this and put more leaves in. And I'm gonna bring you out here, this area. I said to remember that hanging basket chairs right here, very relaxing. So this wraps around, comes to the eat-in breakfast area. New wood there, probably another month or so if we don't get any more rain, and that can be stained to match. So that's your first floor. Second floor, we're gonna jump right upstairs. Our master suite 
is off to the right, the primary bedroom as we call it now. Three bedrooms and full bath to the left. So the primary suite where those covered deck area was and those basket chairs, this is where the master bed is set. You've got a nice walk-in closet, west-facing glass right here, obviously. Nice walk-in closet. So we've got a his-hers combination here. Another walk-in right here. We've got the Juliet balcony right here. And just imagine, as soon as the leaves come out, you are going to feel like you are surrounded by nature. Double vanity. The base height is really nice. Tiled floor. How's this shower right here? Five foot. This was all redone. The cellar, when they purchased, there used to be a whirlpool in that location. We're not gonna go up here quite yet. This is a little bonus space, the in-law space. We've got storage underneath those stairs that go to the in-law. All the clothes are on the second floor. Laundry's on the second floor. Here is bedroom number two. Left rear position. Looking into the backyard. Plenty of natural light here. Reach-in closet right there. Bedroom number three. This mirrors the officer playroom down below with that bay element right here. That happens to be a reach-in closet right there. Bedroom number four, right here. Another reach-in closet right there. Front center of the home entry is right below that roof section right there. Nice closet space right here. All the linens. So let's take a look at the in-law setup. We'll take a peek right here. There is a little deck, so you could have a grill out here. Looking down on the in-law setup. Right there, that is the full bath for the in-law. Boy, I feel like I'm in a tree house. When I get up to this floor right here, this is just an absolutely beautiful space. Little kitchenette. You know, they're not using it hardcore kitchen right here, but my goodness, a toaster oven. How's that for a nice space? Washer dryer hookup is right there. Single vanity for the in-law. This is vinyl flooring right here. Has a really nice look. Morning sun right there. This happens to be nice tub shower. Great condition. Here's my bedroom number five. The in-law bedroom is right here. Reach-in closet right there. True southern exposure, so middle of the day, this is a bright spot right there. We do have an unfinished lower level. We'll just fly down stairs, give you a quick view of that. The nine-foot ceilings really make a nice feel to this home on this first floor right here. So this was interesting. You've got two entrances to the garage and the way it works, you've got this entrance right here. So this brings you out to the two car garage. Here's my main electrical panel right there. I've got my front steps, and that right there is the front porch, bottom of it. So yet yeah, you step up, you do have another sub panel right there, electrical. 
But this is an unfinished space right here. Could be another rec space. We do have a radon mitigation system, so that box is already checked. You don't have to worry about radon in the air with that system operating. The Daris Boiler, love this local company. Anderson Oil, top-notch service was done February 21st, 24. The logomatic control that regulates the temperature of the boiler instead of staying between the high and low limit all year long, this will lower that temperature based on the outdoor temperature. When it gets warmer, you don't need as much heat in the boiler. Unlimited hot water, 100% of the boiler output can be put into the domestic hot water right there. And then we've got the second entrance into the garage. My oil tank is right there. It is in the, in the garage. We've also got a standby generator. That's what our propane is for. Besides the fireplace on the first floor, we've got a portable, sorry, a standby generator. So beautiful thing about this home is you don't have any concerns with well water or quality because we do have city water, which is meter. So that is what we've got here with this in-law setup, total of just under 3,500 square feet, four bedrooms on the main living space. We added fifth one being the bonus, four full baths. This home is gonna sell quickly, so I would definitely schedule your showings ASAP.